Hey, how's it going, everyone? Well, look what the wind blew in. Hey, my name is Parker, and I work here at La Parisima Mission State Historic Park, and I'm here to answer one of the greatest mysteries behind one of my most favorite materials here at the mission, adobe bricks. You know, a common question that I always get is, hey, Parker, what happens when, well, it's raining out, and you have the adobe bricks drying in the sun? Well, as a matter of fact, we're here to take a look exactly at what is happening to these very bricks. I first want you to think about, what are these bricks made of? What kind of materials do we use to make them? Hmm. Now, I want you to think about, when we take these materials and we mix in a little bit of rain with it, what is going to happen to that? Well. Let's go ahead and take a closer look to see exactly what happens to these adobe bricks during the rain. Well, as you can see, these adobe bricks, they're melting back into the earth. We got all of these materials to create the bricks from the earth. So, well, when it rains or um, it floods, anything like that associated with water, these adobe bricks are going to go back into their natural state back into the earth. And that is exactly what we are observing here today in this amazing rainstorm um, at La Parisima Mission. As you can see too, some of the bricks are crumbling, they're falling apart. Um, and while this rain is only gonna further that decay that we're observing. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning a little bit about one of the greatest mysteries behind our adobe bricks. And I look forward to seeing you again in the future. All right, goodbye for now.